Hey you guys, it's Late Your Light Shine. I'm here at a restaurant called Twin Peaks. Never been here before. We were checking out places for Father's Day and there is nothing going on that's not overly crowded. So Steve-O said, let's go down Eastern. Let's head north on Eastern off Warm Springs. There's restaurants all over the place and here's the place he wanted to go. Now when I go inside, you'll figure out why. All right, so the funny thing is he goes, yeah, it says scenic views on there. So we're like, oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. But kind of everywhere you go, you have a nice view of the mountains. So we get here and I'm looking at it and going, well, where's the scenic views? And it's so funny because the waitress goes, well, we're the scenic views. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is going to be interesting. But because um, they're dressed kind of like, I don't know. Well, it's, it's definitely a dude restaurant. But anyway, I like the inside. It looks like a lodge. Food seems decent, just all American food. So let's go check it out. So perhaps it happens on the weekends, every weekend. Looks like a little bit of a farmer's market out in the front here. All right. All right, Steve, let's go check out the scenic views, huh? Yeah, let's go check out the scenic views. Did you tell them about it? Yes, I did. I was laughing. I'm like, hey, so this is kind of like a Hooters. That's what it kind of reminds me of. just about to explain it to you. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah. Well, I had to be, I had to ask. All right. So, kind of cool. I think it's okay. All these taxidermy type stuff all over the wall. I feel like you're in a big cabin. I am Mike Davis. You may know us mostly for our championships. Kitchen area. Got some sea life over here. And for a Sunday, Father's Day, not busy. So that's what we were really happy about. All right, first off, they handed us the soccer summer specials. So this is what you got, which is kind of nice because lately, anytime we try to get a cocktail anywhere, it's like that price. That's a price for a bucket of beer. So that's pretty cheap. Let's go look at the regular menu now. All right, so here you got your soups. It looks like your all-American fair here. And the opportunities are endless. And then you have the back side. Got some stuff over here. Here's another special that Steve just gave me for some good deals. Oh, okay, there's the Bloody Marys. You're talking about five bucks. I'm kind of in the mood for either a Michelada or a Bloody Mary, so we'll see. They also have a bar menu if you want to peruse that real quick. It's quite extensive here, so I'm just going to kind of just make it really quick so you can just kind of get an, a list of what they have. Is sponsored by Lexus. Experience okay. amazing. Who invites you to only see possible. Wow. Okay. By American Express. Did you see and by Rolex. Five days, five dollars, all day, every day. Okay. Classic whiskey. Old fashioned. And, oh, they're still going strong. Oh my gosh. They have a lot on their bar menu here. Wow. They don't open for breakfast, that's why. Yikes. If you're very particular on the kind of alcohol you like, they definitely have a lot of mixers. We shall see. Back on the first tee, you see the man in orange and know who that is. Okay, good to wine list. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 11.23 starting time. And that's it. So while Steve was watching golf, he also ordered a mimosa. So here's the presentation they give you. And you had a choice of either orange juice, pineapple juice, or cranberry juice. And I went for the Bloody Mary. Both are only five bucks. Sarah went with the Sprite and Jack went with the Diet Coke. Just a quick update. Because the Michelada I had at 
blondies over at the mile miracle mile shops it was like a i had a michelada and had like that tamarind salt that was really really good so i assumed this was gonna be the same but it actually tastes like old bay seasoning so that's a little different but it is definitely delicious so i kind of just wanted to pan over from our perspective what we're seeing it's like a complete 360 here the place is pretty i like how open it is it's like a pretty good size restaurant as you can see tracks more men than women in here <laughs> we see a lot of the heads on the wall here lots of heads on the wall <laughs> if you're not into this kind of stuff i wouldn't think you would enjoy being here I like the light pictures too. And everywhere around you is sports on TV. Look like right now they're playing baseball and golf. And the bar, there is no gaming at the bar, I see. So that's. So no gambling here. And there you go. Alright, this just in. I got the Buffalo chicken tacos has blue cheese on there and little chips and salsa on the side Jackson over here got the salmon mashed potatoes uh, Steve-O got what did you get chicken club BLT BLT and then Sarah yeah scrambled eggs with some gravy on the side and chicken and waffles Chicken and waffles. Let's eat up, people. This looks really delicious. Well, just a quick update. Our food is very, very delicious. Look at that. Almost gone. How's the update on that? Almost gone. Eggs untouched still with the gravy is over here being dipped into these delicious fries. So, so far, so delicious. And I'm going to try this time a mimosa with the pineapple juice. All right, guys, it's hitting about almost one o'clock and now it's getting a little bit busier. This place is definitely great as far as their prices because drinks, if you go on the strip and try to get a drink, it's like $15. It's like five bucks for these drinks here. All right, Steve wanted me to point out the bathroom area. So, sorry, I just wanted to show some of the signs here. All right, so you get a pick of pick of the litter. It doesn't just say men and women. It says stand to pee, sit to pee, and just good old fashioned family view. All right, guys, so that ends our vlog here at the old Twin Peaks. Now, funny thing though, now that I think about it, I'm so freaking naive. Some of the friends on my Facebook page, because I said how we are here at Twin Peaks, and uh, someone said, "Well, why do you think they called it Twin Peaks?" I'm like, "Oh, duh." Literally, I was in the restaurant walking around looking for the scenic view, and I finally asked the waitress, I'm like, so where are the scenic views? And she goes, um, yeah, that would be me. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> so stupid. The food's great here. Prices are decent. I definitely recommend it. I wouldn't say bring the kids, but it wasn't a big deal that you did bring the kids. So um, the place is getting busier now, so I'm glad we came when we did. It was around 11 o'clock. There was hardly anyone here. Now people are, like, looking for a spot. So anyway, thanks for watching.